Well, we've got Professor Peter Newman here from Curtin University, who's an Erskine visitor to University of Canterbury. Peter, you'll be giving a What If Wednesday lecture next week on campus, talking about the Christchurch rebuild. Uh, you're interested in the green rebuild and a light rail. Can you tell me a little bit about that, please? Yeah, I've been to Christchurch 12 times now, and each time I was invited to talk about light rail, because I've been doing rail regeneration projects uh, in my own city, in Perth, but also in other cities. And uh, there is a rail revolution going on worldwide. So I'm very keen to see uh, rail is still on the agenda for Christchurch. Peter, what about the cost? Is it too late to reconsider this for the rebuilds? People don't seem to mind too much if it's a billion dollar road project going in. They say, well, that's good for the economy. But the new data shows that rail projects are actually better for the economy than roads. And that's why around the world rail is getting funded. But there are new ways of funding it that you can't do with a road. And what I'm going to be talking about is value capture, which is a way to fund a railway through the increase in land values that occurs when you put the rail in. The city centre will never take off properly until it's got a good rail going through the middle of it. So you get large numbers of people quickly and easily getting there from the university, from some of the other centres across this city. And that will generate a lot of increase in value for land. And you can, you can, you can capture that and use it to help fund the rail. And the shape of Christchurch, is it well set out for a light rail? Uh, there are various models for what a rail uh, would work best in. They're changing. In Perth, we put a rail into a very scattered, low-density car-based corridor, and it's worked brilliantly because it's well integrated with the buses uh, and park and ride facilities and so on. So you can make it work. Peter, what are some other opportunities to be hopeful for about Christchurch as we rebuild? There's um, some amazing projects going on that are setting the scene for the next 50 to 100 years in, in, in Christchurch. The rebuild of the river, it, it, it's clearly not good to build right on the banks or in creeks, old wetlands, and to reclaim that is now going to create one of the world's great wetland and river systems that will be built into the recreation facilities. Then there's all kinds of opportunities to do with uh, the city centre and the creative use of space that Ryan Reynolds and his crew with the, uh, the gap filler movement have, have shown can, can work. And, and that, the, many of them are quite new. The smart city thing, uh, we went to Epic and we've talked to the groups there. There is an emphasis now on how to get innovation, new technologies, new kinds of data and process that and make Christchurch a centre for that kind of smart technologies. And the HIT lab here, which I'm working with, are uh, world first in terms of their ability to understand and, and make use of that technology. So I, I think Christchurch's got a lot of signs of hope.